pulled out of Auckland, how's how's the wrist? Was that very much just precautionary, or just tell us a bit about what what prompted that? Yeah, it was obviously un unfortunate not to to play there in the, in the special tournament for me. So I was going there to try and win the tournament, and obviously couldn't complete it. Um, but I practiced today, and it's improving, and it's feeling okay. So. Um, yeah. So what? What? Is it, well, which wrist is it? Is it, is the it li my left, left wrist. Right? Yeah. What, what, what's wrong with it? When did you start feeling it? Um, honestly, yeah, just after the the match I played with Van Ash, and there was not like a particular moment where I felt something happen or anything, and then the next day I was um, a bit sore and wasn't able to play, obviously. So um, yeah, I did a scan and. Uh, yeah, it didn't didn't show anything too much. So yeah, I'm here and and it's feeling a bit better. Uh, what was going through your mind at that point? You know, with the Australian Open looming. I mean, were you concerned? <coughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, I think I was just thinking about Auckland first of all. You know, big tournament for me. You know, growing up there, and I wanted to to try win that. That one, and I played such a good match with Van Ash, and I was feeling good from the United Cup. So um, I had a a great preseason, and I did a lot of a lot of work and and everything. So I um, was able to kind of stay in one place as well and practice with some some top players, which was was really fortunate. And so I've I know I've done the preparation, and and I think now it's just making sure I'm I'm fresh and I've played a couple matches already, um, a couple in United Cup and then one last week. So I think just making sure to get the body ready and, and I'm feeling I'm feeling kind of back to where I was in the level and I'm the way I'm seeing the game, you know, I'm a lot more fresh and more clear. So um, yeah, it's nice to, to be feeling feeling good mentally again for sure. Are you still <coughs> concerned about it coming in? About what? The wrist injury. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't, couldn't play Auckland, so obviously concerned. But um, yeah, we're managing it with my team, and and it was better today, which is positive. Do you still feel it? Is there still pain in that? Uh, it's it's feeling better, like I said, and and yeah, I'm I'm, I'm managing it with my team, and and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I think I'm going to be be really lucky. I'm I'm scheduled to play on Tuesday, so I have a few more days. So. Um, Looking forward to practice tomorrow. Yep. Cam, I think last time I spoke to you, you were about to head off into the French Alps. Yeah. Some pictures, you put, put some pictures on Instagram. What was that like as an experience? Yeah, it was it was good. It was actually tougher than I thought. You know, it started off um, pretty easy, and and then suddenly we're in in the snow, um, in in the mountains, and we actually weren't able to complete the the hike because the the weather kind of turned and. And we didn't really have the, the right equipment, the right shoes, but it was pretty challenging um, and, yeah, a nice part of the world to do it. And we, we picked a, a good day, but it was, yeah, we I think we hiked like 14 or 13 kilometres and like almost 2,500 metres. So it was pretty tough and, um, yeah, it was pretty, <laughs> felt good to get back down and, and uh, then after that had it, like I said, had a good preseason. So it was definitely... A, a good challenge and it was definitely put outside my comfort zone and my fitness trainer absolutely killed me that he was he was a beast that day he was he was so good so uh wasn't on his level uh just yet but it was it was good fun and i, I quite like those things and definitely um was a good start to the preseason. and then we did a lot of good work um and we stayed in in monte carlo the whole time and practiced and we didn't didn't play any exhibitions or anything so it was good to to kind of get that volume in and the tennis and the quality was, was really high. Um, slightly technical question about tennis balls, if you don't mind. Yep. Um, they say that the AO ball this year is quite sort of two-faced, like the first three or four games it's, it's quite quick and firm and then it really fluffs up. Did you have that experience and would you rather it was a bit more consistent rather than so different? Yeah, I think, yeah, it is what it is and, and I think you, you have to just be ready for it. You know, it's it's quite lively when they're new and it's very bouncy when it's hot which I like um, and yeah I think it's yeah the last couple games definitely they they do fluff up so you have to really 
hit through the ball a bit more and, and go for it. And I think it's just getting used to it um, a bit more. I don't know uh, if that was on purpose or not. And I think all the players are aware of that. But, um, yeah, I think it's you, you have to, to be tactically aware, you know, when the balls fluff up to to be the one being a bit more aggressive and, and to go after your serve a bit more. And, um, yeah, it is quite nice serving with the, with the new ones. Uh, they're, they're flying around quite quickly um, and they take the slice uh, on the serve quite well. So, yeah, I think I'm not bothered by it. It is what it is and I'm adapting my game and so it's, uh, it's, it's all right. Yes, I suppose, Coach, the team. Um, come. So is, is Stephen here, and he's with. Uh, he's not here, no. But he did uh, preseason with me and Faku, and he was so good and, and such a good uh, influence on on everyone in the team. And um, he speaks like really clearly on on what he wants to see and what his ideas are, which I I liked. And he came in um, with some some really good ideas and and great fit for the team so it was an unbelievable two weeks with with him there and um yeah he's not he's not here in Australia I think he he's coming at some point um but I'm not just just to watch not to to work with me um but uh yeah he was so good and and great for Faku as well Faku learned a lot and um I think it's kind of exactly what we needed to to kind of talk a bit more tactics and and um yeah, I, I really liked him and there was no ego involved. He came in and he was really excited and he was loving the sessions and the quality we were bringing in. Um, it was a good fit. Can you tell us a bit more what, what he has brought to you, to you or without giving too much away? Yeah, I, I think um, just, I think really he made me and Faku think a little bit about tactics a bit more and, and how I want to be playing points and really, really challenged us on on what I want to try to do out there and, and kind of but but more of my identity and, and how I want to play and, and um yeah we worked a lot on the serve, the the volleys obviously is unbelievable volleys. I don't know if you watched him volley before he won Wimby doubles. Um so yeah, I, I think it was just more really cool guy to to be around and and he, he was you can see he's a, a really smart guy and he loves tennis and, and um yeah, it was it was really good. Uh, why is it not working with you here? Sorry. Why is it not working with you here? Yeah, it was just <clears throat> just the plan to to do the predominantly the training weeks, um, and yeah, that was the the plan all along. And and Faku was always going to travel and and do um, travel to the big tournaments and come to these ones. And and um, yeah, then when when I have the blocks, you know, in between the the slams I can can work with them we can get together and and kind of progress um but yeah, we'll see how it goes this year and see what the if he's going to come to more or less or or how it's going to work but right now it's so positive and and he was a great addition to the team and and he loves it as well you talked about feeling fresh now just curious like in hindsight how you you were feeling at, I guess at times in the second half of the season and last season and what you've learned in general about kind of maintaining that mental freshness through obviously a really grueling season. Yeah, it was <clears throat> it was it was quite tough towards the end, but um I think yeah, I don't want to talk too much about last season we, we talked a lot already, but um yeah, I think it just goes to show if you drop a little bit everyone's kind of there to, to take your spot and the level's so high. So I think it for me it just motivated me to to improve a lot in the the preseason and really try to evolve my game, keep working on a few things, and yeah, I think just how important it is to to stay fresh. And um, yeah, I'm not really sure if it's I mean schedule could be a little bit. There's a few weeks I would maybe change here and there, but I think more just coming to uh, practice and, and every day and, and approaching approaching tennis and with a fresh mind and ready to go and ready to compete um, definitely goes a long way and, and I think it shows in this the sport and any sport is, is such small margins so uh, I think yeah you drop your level a little bit then you lose a bit of confidence here and there and then 
you suddenly lose a couple of tough matches. We're at the, the beginning of the season, all the, the, the tough matches and the tight matches were going my way and I was really going after it, going to, uh, going to win the matches and I think I start the year off really strong playing Demon and I win and won it and, and played a really good third set tie break and, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really like just pumped to be, to be back on the court playing, competing the way I was there in, in United Cup and, and the match in Auckland. Um, and yeah, I just want to keep evolving, keep getting better, and and yeah, a lot to learn from from last year. But I want to look forward. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank Cheers. You.